rock and roll. What's up, everybody? Cheers. Cheers. With our water. Uh, yeah. This is water. Oh, look at us. I'm water. I'm just a water guy now these days. I am Carlos Alberto Navarro. I am Megan Elizabeth Navarro. And we are Miglos. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful day. We are uh, we are excited to be here. It's another fun Miglos kind of day. And, um, you know, I, I, I gotta say, I don't think there's a husband and wife team that does more podcasts together. <laughs> more shows together. Without, I mean, and we don't... We don't even hate each other afterwards. It's not like we do these and then afterwards we're like, God damn, I can't stand this bitch. I gotta get away from you. Um, and um, yeah, it's Meglos time. And uh, and we just do lots of different kinds of shows. We do, we do. Obviously, if you're if you're watching this, you probably watch to the top. You will probably watch Megan's uh, uh, I am Megan Navarro channel, or maybe you listen to the Monsters, or maybe I don't do the Monsters with you. That's true. But I kind of do. Yeah, you do watch a lot of. The I don't movies. watch that much anymore. Yeah, you, you, you tune but in I, I pop in and then uh you know then I feel I, I'm talking on there the mic go. as there much you as go. I can there you go somebody My... right there you see where you're center with it and you're like oh, I'm out of here and I'm just talking do you know that I haven't talked on a mic for 10 years of my life and more uh, well, you have oh I've talked way longer than 10 years but uh, oh God, what I'm just saying I'm what 38 I... years old now okay. I'm not, I'm 20 not years on a mic so give me a freaking break okay there's the break Jeez. now we we gotta move forward or this podcast will end. How about that? <laughs> there it is. That was the final straw that broke the Meglos back. Um, yeah, Meglos, if you don't know, we just chill and talk about kind of whatever the hell we want to talk about. Life. Life. It's not serious. It's not family friendly because not this is supposed to be an adult friendly. show because we talk about sex. I want to sit Indian style. You can sit right here in my lap if uh, you want to. I mean, you're not supposed to say Indian style, right? No. So I want, I want to say crisscross applesauce. There you go. That's much better. There's a bunch of things. You're not supposed to say two birds with one stone anymore. What, really? Yeah. I just said that recently oh, in my YouTube that. video. Don't but I said that. I didn't like the saying. You need to say two birds with one scone. Really? I heard you say that the other day yeah. and I was like... Are you just messing it up? No, no, it's, I mean, when, it makes more well, sense. When did you hear that you're supposed to say two birds with one scone? I feel like you literally just made that no, up. No, I wish I did, but somebody Where'd else did. Um, I read it somewhere that politically correct animal free, like beating a dead horse, you're not supposed to say that anymore. Yeah. I mean, it is a Why sick. Why scone? Uh, well, scone is like a uh, cousin to a muffin, right? Right, I know what So scone if is. you can imagine, if you broke up a scone, I'm sure you could get two birds with it. You know, you throw it on the ground, like you're in pigeons in New York City or something. Wait, what's the saying again? Two birds with one stone. So, you know, you throw a stone, kill two dead-ass birds. But you, you, when you're giving a bird a scone, you're not killing it, because it wasn't it like well, yeah, two yeah, birds yeah. with one stone. Yeah, but so it wasn't the like... The new saying isn't feeding two birds with one scone. Yeah, the same thing. You're doing two things with one attempt. That's the okay. whole basis behind it. You see what I'm saying? Sure. Does that make sense to you, Megalos audience? Um, I know a lot of you missed the uh, commenting because part of Megalos was this live uh, element. element to it. We are going to do some of those. We just haven't done it yet. We are getting things started and going. And, and us as a married couple, um, I wonder if there are other married couples that sit and, 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 I mean, yesterday and pretty much every day, we're trying to get as disciplined as we can. I feel like we're, we're pretty good. Maybe better than most. Maybe not as good as many. <laughs> but um, but we're just like trying to do the best that we can, and I know there's a lot of married couples out there that don't do any communication. Yeah. They both live their their lives separately. Yeah. yeah. And that's all well and good, uh, but I know I couldn't do it. I mean, my the thing about Megan is she will call me on my shit. Oh yeah. Not a lot of people call me on my shit. Then again, I don't have that much shit to be called on, if you know what I'm saying. Right. Um, but like yesterday, yeah, something in my eye. Yeah, it's eyelashes. <laughs> it's your beautiful eyelashes. Okay, go ahead. Um, yesterday, I realized I need help planning my day better. Oh, I do. I know. And it's not that I don't get things done. I'm a pretty efficient dude. I do a lot of stuff, but I will. My ADHD will take over, and I've been diagnosed with that by several doctors. It's not just like how people, you know, noise when people are like, I have OCD. Mm -hmm. And I have like, OCD is a real horrible disease. Yeah, but it's been like generalized. Same thing with anxiety. Same thing with... Like, I would say a lot of things have been generalized. Yeah. yeah. 
And but I, I here's some weird things about the ADHD that I learned. A lot of people whose moms smoked while in the womb have ADHD. ADHD. Really? Yeah. I don't know if this, the therapist that I talked to told were lying, which I don't think they would, but that's what they told me, and my mom did. That's like <sighs> bullshit. Um, it does sound like bullshit, doesn't it? But I mean, I mean, it could work. Uh, um, but it looked like it, it feel, you know, the asthma thing. I get. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I do and think that's why your asthma is as bad as it is. I have bad asthma. I'm a mess. Okay, let's <laughs> list the diseases nice. I have. Graves disease. Not fun. Not fun. Okay, asthma. Not fun. ADHD. Allergies. allergies. You're allergic to everything. I'm not allergic to everything. Every, okay, not food wise. Well, food wise too. What do you mean? You're like allergic to grass, dust, like all the things. Yeah, there's some. I'm, I'm, look, I'm a special you, guy. You got the test done, the allergy test where they like prick you. You were like 90% of it allergic to all of it. There was a lot of stuff that I was allergic to. But um, there's foods that you, and stuff that you are allergic to. But I live my life. You keep eating and you don't care what it is. No, I don't drink milk rest. anymore. Um, you eat ice cream occasionally. Yeah, I do, I do. Um, but God, I gotta live. <laughs> Shit, get off my back. <laughs> Just trying to live. Um, I don't even know how I went down this road. But I'm wondering if those, if you're watching or listening. What you were saying was that you. I need help oh, okay. with, my, with my schedule. Yeah, um, I don't know why you were going down that road, but. I don't know. Maybe it was because somebody listening. I wonder, do a lot of people you think write down their schedule all day or think they just go yellow? Uh, I don't know, but I personally would think that a lot of people write out their schedules. I don't think so. Write in the comments right now. Do you write out your schedule? And leave a comment. Leave a comment. Tell if, us. You know what? If you're watching this video, you know what really helps us out? Leave a comment below. We check the comments. We try and respond back to everybody. It literally helps us get this video and this podcast out to more people. So uh, you'd be doing us a great service. Um, engagement. Engagement. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people do. I think people just kind of have an idea of what they want to do and then they try and go about it. Hmm. I don't know. I think that, uh, I don't know. I'm going to start asking people. I would like to, I mean, I know that my best friend, Jill, writes everything down. I think women do it more than men. Yeah. I think women are more literal. Women are more... I wonder, I, I bet you Kim doesn't write things down. Well, I'm one of our friends. I'm, gonna ask, I'm literally going to ask every single, I mean, my five friends. Yeah. Go I'm going to ask uh, uh, the dude friends of mine if they, yeah, do you write down what you do all day? Because I feel like the most lost I've ever been. When you don't write things when down. When I don't write things down. When I, when I was going through like my depressed states, yeah. I would like... I would be like, I'm not writing anything down. Yeah. What yeah. What are you looking at me? Now you're mad. Like, are you seriously getting on me with this mic? No. No. I just want me. you to talk into it. I am There you into go. It. Do you want me to scream? I like the loud screaming Megan. My her. God. So let's talk about something that happened yesterday. You were talking to me yesterday with your top off. Okay. My for, top off. Yeah. Oh. Just bare-breasted, beautiful breasts. My wife has this beautiful is breasts. This not sexual sensual thing no. I was changing clothes I yes. had leggings on I know I loved it and, and you had beautiful hair you're all made up and I'm watching you uh -huh. and what you don't understand as a guy go ahead I'm an animal uh -huh. okay it was literally at like six o'clock in the afternoon and so? our daughter was in, in the, the room in the other room she was in our bathroom was she in the bathroom yeah I didn't care I was I was blinders <laughs> on boobs were out and what you have to understand for a guy is you may think it's a just a normal conversation, but to me, I'm like, I'm ready to have sex. Oh my god! I am. It, it was, and, and fellas out there, I mean, well, even, do you remember what I was talking to you about? No, <laughs> not at all. That was like boobs, boobs, <laughs> boobs. You she see? wants to have sex, doesn't she? Oh my! Those beautiful breasts. She wants to do it, and so. You have been looking at my boobs for 15 years. And they're fantastic. What? I'm I a mean, boob guy on top of it. I love titties. Oh I love them titties. I don't care. You they know, can be sloppy. Oh, little round I'm singing a titty song. It's a general song about a lot of things. Your, your tits are great. Your tits are fantastic. You know, that's one of the reasons I married you. You have great yeah, tits. Is it? That was number two. Number well, one is. You thank my doctor. <laughs> yeah, thank you, doctor. Whatever, whatever. My my doctor from I don't know how long. Ago it was. A long time. I'd like some new ones. So any doctors out there that want to give Megan some new boobs? <laughs> some I don't think you need them. 
but well, it's been a little while, so. I mean, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and wait till our next kid and yeah. that go around, and then, then, uh. Isn't it amazing, though, boobs? Like, do you think it's just because we're so used to, like, it's, we're supposed to breastfeed for a little bit, and, yeah. then, and then that's why guys and people are, even women love boobs. Girl, let me touch your boobs. Girl, let me touch your boobs. Spring break, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, it's me, Brittany. Girl, I don't normally, I don't normally touch girl tits, but your tits are fucking awesome. Let me touch them. <laughs> Why is that that girls can get away with that? And if a dude tried to touch my balls, I'd punch him in the face. I don't think girls ask other girls to touch their boobs unless they know that they've had a boob job. Huh. Only, I mean, the only time, any, any time any of my friends have been interested in like, possibly getting a boob job and anything like that they're like can i touch yours I'm really like, sure why haven't i been around for any of these moments well you must have been more a long time ago. um yeah i guess that's so but well, like you were still around but not but girls are more i think girls are just more open in general mm. i think every girl has kissed another girl almost every girl has kissed another girl if you've kissed another girl leave a comment below, below and you're a girl <laughs> i think women oh my god fucking carla oh, becky's back <laughs> Becky, I'm, shut the fuck up, Carla. I wrote seven letters to YouTube about the last Megalos episode, whatever you want to call it. You're sick, you're gross, and now you're saying all women are lesbian? I'll have you now. I never have kissed a woman. Well, maybe a lot of women don't want to kiss you. Fuck you, Carla. <laughs> oh my God. I think a lot of women want to kiss you. Look at it. It's the ugliest face. Don't, don't, it's Becky. I don't know how to do Becky's there. Shut the fuck up. I think a lot of women are mostly bisexual. I think they have a bi side to them. I don't think all, maybe all dudes do as well. I mean, I'm a manly man. How many dudes have you kissed? <sighs> Not so many. Uh, back in the 80s, I mean, I was kissing and fucking, I mean, sucking so many dudes. Oh my God. No, I've never kissed a guy. One time, my buddy Jason and I, <laughs> Listen, factor, you don't know. It, we had to been, I don't know, middle school or something. And something happened where we both turned our head, and of course, we're like kids, and we graced like our lips by accident, and we made the biggest deal about it. Like, oh my God! And we, like, we, like, it was like we were both turning like this, we're like, ah! and, and then we fucked. And then. <laughs> <laughs> no, and we like washed our mouth. We were kids. It was like, like when you could actually call like, somebody gay, like, like, that's so gay. And now you do that, you know, the whole world comes down on you. Yeah, no, well, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. I mean, I don't, I don't ever do that. Unless somebody's really gay. And I'm like, yeah, he's gay. I'm yeah. like, that is gay. Some dude hooking up with another dude. That's gay. Ain't nothing wrong with it. If you're gay. <laughs> if you, but I think because women have babies, it brings women together. I think it, it's like you have to have this open-mindedness at a level that guys just don't understand. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no th a lot of things I like to say with facts and yeah, you and, try to and act statistics, like but this is just coming from my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not basing this on anything. It's just what I've seen because I know a lot of girls have hooked up with girls. I mean, you've kissed girls. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I honestly can never say I've kissed a guy or even wanted to kiss a guy, like I said, but, and I don't know a lot of but other dudes. That, yeah. Other than my gay friends that, you know, I've definitely hooked up with a lot of guys. <laughs> and, I mean, I don't know, what do you think? Uh, I think it, well, you know, like more, uh, um, when it happened with me, that was like teenage years. Yeah, you you're know? like learning about yourself and... And just but, like experimenting and stuff. Like I didn't do it in my t well a couple times. Come on, my remember in your twenties, you got a little loose, a little liquored up, and all of a sudden titties are out, and somebody's <laughs> kissing Megan. And that's a girl, and I'm like, oh yeah, this party's going down. And then you're throwing up my toilet. I'm like, damn. <laughs> no, the bushes. <laughs> oh god. It always, that's how it always starts. Like you're like a drunken night. Like I don't drink anymore. We she barely drinks, but like, oh my god, I think they're like. Might go down. She's kissing a girl. Oh, I don't even know if I'm prepared for this. Oh, she's throwing up in an alley. Oh God, party over. Yeah. Yeah, but I think more girls do that. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Maybe guys do it, but they don't say it. I haven't kissed a girl since we've been married. Let's just put it that way. You haven't? No, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 no not even close. We've been married. No, early twenties. Yeah. Yeah, I saw this uh, commercial for Paradise Island. Yeah. You want to go? Fuck no. 
Oh. It's what like it? disgusting. And I'm not some wallflower. What? what it's a it? show on Fox where they, like they oh, invite. It's a show. Yeah, it's a show. It's oh. not like a resort or anything. Oh, I thought it was like a hedonism. No, I think it's somehow connected to The Bachelor, which is another oh, yeah. horrific show. Listen, if you watch he, The Bachelor. I'll leave them alone. People that love The Bachelor, Why? they love The Bachelor. Leave Why? Them. You know, I. Why? Oh, stop. You're so judgmental. Stop being You're so more judgmental. judgmental than me. You ready? Not yeah, you're way more judgmental than me. I love everybody. I'm not that judgmental about people watching TV shows because I... You watch some trash. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> I... I got Oh my god. Oh my god. I love Kim Kardashian and she is so amazing. I don't... I mean, I, I do. I watch Keeping Up With the Kardashians. Do I watch it every Sunday? No, but when I have a few, like, piled up together, I you do enjoy it? that little marathon of them, and um, I'm not going to judge. I watch The Housewives, you know? It, it, it's so, so that's my thing. So how can I hate on... Because I know people hate on that shit all the time. That's true. So I'm not going to hate on someone for liking The Bachelor, since I like my, like, guilty pleasure. What's my guilty pleasure? Stupid Game of Thrones. Don't do that, please. <laughs> it's a worldwide phenomenon, and I can't wait to watch it this Sunday. If you're watching this after the final uh, episode, uh, it's 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 amazing. You well, have plenty of guilty pleasure. Please well, name I, them. Name them. Uh, what are my guilty pleasures? But yours are like stupid. What are my stupid guilty pleasures? Right. I'm not better than anybody else, but no, I don't you're watch. You're acting like it. You're acting. What? Like I'm it. At, well, can I not have an opinion on people that watch a stupid fucking show? Leave them alone. No! <laughs> it's my podcast, Meg Lowe's. I can say whatever the hell I want. And I'm going to say, if you watch The Bachelor, you're a loser. Oh, okay? that's fucked up. I don't oh my think God, you're a okay, loser. Oh my God, okay, not a loser. But you definitely should be using your time more wisely. Oh, stop. There's nothing, even Kardashians. Okay. Okay, Kardashians, and I can see. Lives, how are you going to defend it against The Bachelor? <sighs> Well, The Bachelor You're is just... You're really pissing The Bachelor fans off. I don't give a fuck, okay? The Bachelor fans, what are they watching? One person who is going on a date with a bunch of people. Like, if this happened in real life, women yeah. would be like, this is so fucked up. He's dating two women. And it's like a chick is dating a bunch of dudes. The guys aren't putting any of the dates together. All the producers and writers are putting together these elaborate dates. That's why none of them really succeed. What, one or two out of the fucking 50 seasons have been <laughs> successful. So it's a it's a total uh, facade. At least the Kardashians, they are powerful, smart women. And I don't even watch that much. But I'll get caught and be like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. I watch it, but at least they built an empire. They have they they're about family. There's a bunch of stuff that I can admire about them. But the Bachelor and this Paradise Island, it's like, it's the bottom of the barrel. It's the bottom of the barrel of entertainment. So you don't think the Bachelor will sponsor our Michael Show? No, <laughs> no. And, and you know it's it's weird. You know, like I mean, even thinking about it, like women get so upset if a guy dates you know a couple girls or whatever. And then they watch like, let's go, Jessica. You go, girl. Let's go. She's dating Steve, and he's from Phoenix, and he owns a winery. And then they're like, oh, I feel like I've fallen in love with her. I feel like I love. No, you don't. You're. I, I, if it's a TV set. It's a set that you're on. I've known people that have been on it. They have waiters walking around as producers, whispering things to people. You know it's been on. I used to know, girl, before you. Okay. Okay. Long time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. Who was on the show? Really? Yeah. Yeah. What's her name? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I really cannot remember. I cannot remember, but she you told me. You made this shit up. I didn't. No. And, and she told me that. She told me that's what they would do. She didn't get picked. She didn't. She got like her first rose. She was fucking ugly. No, she was attractive. <laughs> she was attractive, but um, I don't I know what she is now. I said that because I don't like that she liked you. She liked me. She didn't like me that much. <laughs> um, but I don't know how we got on The Bachelor, but if you're watching The Bachelor and you're upset about this, don't be mad at me. Be mad at your viewing styles. Okay? <laughs> you obviously have some good taste because you're watching our show. You're yeah, watching... like how can you hate on their viewing styles if they're watching us? Well, if they're watching this, we're a married couple. We talk about different things. We're not just like, if we were just like smut. If we were just like... Smut? You don't like that word? What is that word? Smut is like... Just sex and graphicness, and you know, people would say, "Ah, oh, that Hustler magazine is smut." I've never, never heard of smut. Heard huh? of that word before. Yeah, smut. Yeah, it's a real word. Yeah. It's a real word. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't use it that often. Uh, obviously. But I think it's a very powerful word. I'm gonna start using it more. 
Like I'm gonna meet is people. it considered a bad word? Uh, is it considered a bad word? No. Like, could you say it on the radio? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to start saying smut all the time. So, so use it in a sentence. Oh, that magazine with those naked women is, is no, just smut. It, okay, use it in another sentence. Um, that doesn't have to do with a magazine and naked women. You go to Amsterdam and the streets, there. it's just smut. That's what you would say. Huh. Yeah, I know a lot of words. <laughs> I know a lot of words. And it's for my 12, 12 years of schooling. Um, I got, you have spit so much. I wonder why. I wonder I if you can know, see the spit. I don't know, but that light shining down on you, you like. Can you get to see it? The spit just like. Well, I don't care. My studio, my mic, I don't care. I'm gonna spit some more. <laughs> I'm not at the station. I'm not anywhere else. This is, I can treat the, this. But, this studio, we've made love in this studio oh. before. My. We have been naked in here. Look, this studio is our domain. Do you know that my brother gets, my brother watches our Megalo show. Shout out to Ryan. Love you, little bro. Love you, Ryan. Hey, I love that he watches and it. And he gets so hey, sick. Aren't you just happy Why? that your, 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 your sister is married to a cool ass dude who doesn't watch The Bachelor and, uh, and loves his wife and his daughter more than anything in the world? And so big deal if we've had some party nights in here where we flip on the, the, the strobe light, oh. the disco light, <laughs> yeah. and we crank the music and it gets real sweaty. Ew. Now it's been before we set all this up, but now we got a good little space over there if we need to. Oh my god. I said, Ryan, you're family. It's not family friendly. So, I mean, what are you going to do? Oh, we, we love Ryan. I listening. love Ryan, but I, I love that he watches and listens, but... He's, he catches an earful every now and then. I yeah, I mean, he does. I mean, uh, poor thing. Poor thing. Um, so. Yeah, what if you heard about your sex, ses, sister's sex life? Yeah, I'd be grossed out too. <laughs> Easily. Easily, I get it. Um, but. He I'm, just wants to be supportive. Yeah, no, exactly. And most of this he can listen to. Can we talk, can, uh, can we talk about my tattoo? Okay. Um, I have a tattoo right here on my wrist and it says imagine and I got it a drunken night oh man oh was that a it was a rough night and I did not listen to the guy when he said if I do it in this font that I wanted it will eventually bleed together and I was like I don't care yeah even now <laughs> just do it and it says imagine and of course like god how many years ago was that at least like 12 10 no, we were already uh, married. Yeah, we already married, so I'd say about 10 years ago. Maybe eight, eight, to, eight to 10 years ago. So it's definitely all bled into each other. And I wanted to get something fixed, get it fixed on my wrist for a while, but I didn't really know what I wanted. Right. Right? And then a while, I thought we could like shade it in and then put Lennon over top of it, or LL for mm -hmm. our daughter. I've officially decided what I want to do with it. And it's going to say, smut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Smut, and then you hold it up like, damn, she's hardcore. She's a smutter. So I think that I'm going to shade, do a rectangle around it, shade it in black, mm -hmm. and then in white. I think white because that white's the only color that's going to show up over black, right? Yeah, does white even show up on skin? It. Like, do they have a white? Like, I don't see a lot of white tattoos. Uh, think about it. Let's look it up. No, I mean, there's not, I mean. Listen, don't ruin my plan. I want well, you to get whatever you want. Well, there's no other way to cover this tattoo. Oh, there are ways. With what color? It's a black tattoo. Turquoise, purple, red. Okay, so if I do purple. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the inside of the tattoo, I want this covered okay. and shaded in. So it's basically like a shaded in rectangle. Right. That way then I can write. In the rectangle, T T T N S. What does that stand for? Our motto in life: to the top, never, never stop. stop. That's right. And so I want that, but yeah, I, I mean, if it's shaded in purple, I'm not a tattoo artist. Well, I you, wish you, you were. I, I, I wish I, you were. I don't have the patience, nor the tattoos for it. I do. I mean, I guess I do have a lot of tattoos, but um, I love it. I love that you're gonna do TT. That's too. the way so, we live our life. I, yeah. So I need to find a, because I want it to stay tiny. I do not want it, my wrist tattoo to turn huge. Nah, you don't need that. I don't need that in my what life. What if you want to get a corporate job one day? Not because of that, because my big tattoo on my back drives me absolutely crazy. So I'm not going I to. I love the tattoo on your back. But I love the tattoo so near your. it's so much bigger than I ever. Look, look. 
What? On my hip bones. It's not hip near bones. my vagina. It's on my hip bones. Very sexy. And I always get a good look at him. Oh my god. What? Anyway, so are you going to say that you're going to get the TT in us? TTT in us? I'm going to get it on my back because I'm ripped as hell on my back. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting a TT. I, I haven't wanted another tattoo in a while. Yeah. But I do think since we have gone on this venture and lived by it for a while. Yeah, it's not like we it's just going away. What no, no, we've been saving for a long time. So yeah, I got to get more ripped though. Yeah, so that you can't like, have like back hair like coming out yeah. through the tattoo. Yeah. Ew, that would be so gross. You, uh, you know what I get grossed out? Well, I think that's a good idea. But well, so we just need to find a tattoo artist. So if you're a tattoo artist and you know a good one, leave a comment below. And only good ones, no losers, no nerds, only cool tattoo people. Thank you. Oh, you know who we might be able to use? Nicole Guerrero, you know Nicole yeah. on YouTube? She has a, an amazing tattoo artist that she uses in oh maybe not no, she goes far to away. california and new york for hers all right so we need one in florida well that's good um tattoos are are good and uh i wouldn't i would like to get one i'm not getting stuff. any new ones i'm not down for a new tattoo i just want this one fixed. you just want that one fixed yeah yeah i gotta find I the right font i don't want to do old english or no. anything like that i want to i, I want to write find the right right font if i got another tattoo my dad would Ooh. legitimately kill me yeah we don't need to upset him no no he's a good man he's good if he's not watching this or listening to this i hope never he never does no, he would never would he doesn't need to he's not family friendly for other families adults and uh and and we really enjoy hanging with you and we enjoy you stopping by in our little world and just checking in and i hope that that when you stop by you get a little smile you enjoy um, what we do because we are really loving being back and we have so much stuff to show you here in the future if you haven't checked out you know all the things Megan's channel I am Megan Navarro if you haven't checked out to the top never stop which Megan is the executive producer of if you haven't checked out um, our Instagrams to the top Carlos that's oh my me. gosh I'm really trying to be better with my Instagram you are too. you are you're doing, doing a great my job best. you are doing my best and we, we and I actually get back to a lot of people on uh, on my Instagram that seems to be the one I get back to people the most so if you have any questions about this wonderful show called the Megalo show <laughs> uh, hit us up on there or leave a comment below make sure to give us a thumbs up make sure to subscribe because tap the notification tap bell. Tap that ding 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 so ding ding ding. you know ding. when we post a new video. Yes, yes. All we'll the things. All the things. And we hope... We're going to do a live Meglos sometime soon. soon. We're going to do it soon. We promise. We, we will promise. do it soon. So um, we want to thank you guys for stopping by the old Meglos show today. I would love to say what we learned today. Um, but, you know... What did we learn? Bad people watch The Bachelor. Carlos hates people that watch The Bachelor. I, I, yeah. yeah. Okay, I've, I said it. I've kissed a girl. You've kissed a girl. But <laughs> and how many songs are there about a woman kissing a girl? Right. Yeah. You know, I think uh, Sam uh, Smith. How many? Two. Okay, <laughs> you I kissed a girl. You acted like it was For like a the first bunch. time. I kissed a girl. And then there's I kissed a girl and I liked it. Katy Perry was like, watch this. I'm gonna release a song about it, and every, the world's gonna freak. Remember that? What a big deal that was. Yeah. Now, like somebody releases a song about that, like no oh, big man, deal. Big deal. Everybody kisses a girl. Okay. Uh, but thank you for joining us. Thank you guys. This is a lot of fun. Leave a comment below. Subscribe and continue following this wonderful world of Meglos. And um, I'm back. I do know one thing. And I'm always gonna do it. Uh, but uh, on behalf of me, Carlos Alberto Navarro. And me, Megan Elizabeth Navarro. We gotta do this our whole full names. I think so. Thanks for watching <laughs> the Meglo Show. Let's dance. Wait, you gotta we we usually end up with to the top never stop. Oh my god. Okay, wait a second, rewind. <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of Carlos Alberto Navarro, that's me. And behalf on behalf? Yes. I'm be speaking in first third person. And on behalf of me, Megan Elizabeth Navarro. Today will be a great day. To the top. Never stop. Bye. Right, let's dance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.